Wonder what kind of trouble Shocker's into this time. Could you, like, uh, do something? I understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spike. -Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on, with Jay Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it's like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. Goodbye. I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I need to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. Wow, you all forgot your keys? actually let you break in, you'd be going away for a lot longer. them I might Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. All units 
We have a vehicle chase in progress. Incident is active near Longacre. Over. Please tell me your horn plays, Dixie! I'll take him! Sebastian! More crooks? This fight's going viral! Give that real man props. Manhattan rush hour is no joke. heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. Here on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like Prejudice? Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Hi, Herman. Seriously? <laughs> What you said last time. I don't want to hurt you. You'll just slow me down. Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking. But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, 
I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Gotcha. Now let's talk. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Not enough. Move, move, move! Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. That's a keeper. Perfect. Ma Street, the main street of Chinatown. Touristy, but great dim sum. The Williamsburg Bridge. Convenient route to someplace else I can't afford to live. Come on, man. 
Confucius Plaza. Could use some of his wisdom right about now. myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, aka the Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. Live by the beat down, die by the beat down. Yuri, I found a fist construction site. Lots of busy worker bees up to no good. Try to make some noise. If someone calls in a disturbance, I can send cars. Noisy? I can do noisy.
semi. Nap time. Might be in jail. What's the guy's job to do? Com check Cobra 4. Jano! Sleep it off. So much you Andre. Jail Fisk's men are awfully loyal. Hey, over here! Hey, over here! I'm the real Spider-Man! of counterfeit bills in that neighborhood. Counterfeiting? That's a dying art. I'll do my part to make it extinct.
Everything's quiet here now, Captain. Great. That's one more revenue stream Wilson Fisk can't use to pay his lawyers. Thank you. 